day 42. And it's a day I'm not looking forward to. Uh, first two projects of the day. First one involves her. We're going to go park the truck. That's her thing that she likes to do. Second one is I spent, uh, spent about 20 minutes reformatting these memory sticks. The P2 goes in this projector here. I'm going to go get it put in. And the other one goes to the pumping station. We're going to go get that put in. Those two jobs are the easiest. After that, I think it's going to be a, the rest of the day is going to be a hell day. And I will explain about that here in a moment. Okay, I mentioned about today being a hell day. And we're about to find, yep, it's a hell day. I had more than one rip in the liner. So, the only way to fix this problem is I'm going to have to take the fences down, the plexiglass out, take everything out of the pond, and we're going to have to replace the liner. And then put everything back in. Uh, I got to get zombie bait down. I got to get the whole water wall taken apart. It is going to be a little quicker and a little easier, though. Uh, like with the fountain portion, the piping, that's got to come down. But these silver straps I'm using, uh, plumber's tape, I just got to take one end loose to get the piping off, but then the strapping can stay put. So I won't have to recut, remeasure, and all that. That will speed up a little bit of time. The other thing is the wall itself is in two pieces. When I put this thing together, I had to put those two pieces together and then put the whole thing up against the framework and attach four screws to hold it. I won't have to take that apart. I just got to take the four screws out and I can lift the whole thing off to the side. The back part where the fan blade is, I have to take the fan blade off, but it's like the, uh, the wall itself is like the front part. It's two pieces. I won't have to separate. I just got to take it loose from the frames. Four screws again. And I won't have to take the motor out. Either the motor can stay attached, I can just move it off to the side. So when I go to reassemble it, it should go a little quicker. But it's still going to be a pain in the ass. We've got to disassemble the whole thing and put brand new liners in. Which is what I'm probably going to end up doing the rest of the day. So everything else that we had on the dock if we're doing today, ain't going to happen today. Because we're going to be messing with that water wall. Uh, you know, if it goes quick enough, and, uh, you know, I have some time. We'll probably get into a little bit of it. I've got uh, another stereo to bring out, four stereo speakers. I've got the swords that got to go into the uh, ammo box in the pirate. I've got a leak on the captain I need to get fixed. Because uh, it's a majorly affecting the air compressor that it's hooked up to. The air compressor is running almost constant, trying to keep up with it. You know, uh, and I got the doorways to do, and I got, oh, I got foggers to put in, and, okay, hold on here, I know you're getting some weird angles here. You don't mind not looking at me anyway, I'm kind of ugly anyway, but, uh, come on, Kay, let's get inside, huh? Let's get inside, but, uh, anyway... Like I said, it's a hell day today. We're going to be replacing that liner. There's no way I can run that part of the display with the holes in the liners. Not like that. I'd be filling it once to twice a day. And that whole area would become a muddy swimming pool. So, we are going to have fun. Breakfast of the day, since it's going to be... it's only like 42 degrees out here right now and we're going to be working over where it's wet barefoot most of the day uh, we need something hot and nourishing well hot maybe not nourishing but hot oatmeal with raisins and a sprinkle of brown sugar and a little bit of cream on top and a glass of milk so there we go I'm going to get busy because, like I said, today's a hell day. Well, it only took about an hour and a half. 
but I got the liner out, water walls out, all the props are out, and my feet are freezing because there was still about an inch of water in most of the pond, which I was having to wade through to get the water wall and all the parts out. But they're all out. Got stuff stacked up over there, old liners, new liners, that guy. And I got a marshy mess out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an hour, maybe two off, go in the house, let my feet warm up, let the water settle a little bit, and then we'll come out and get this put together. Well, there you go. New liner in, everything reassembled. Only thing I need to do now is add water, and that's a 45-minute job. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to get the hose out here, get this thing to start filling. While it's filling, I'm going to take Kaylee for her walk. It's just a hair after 2 o'clock, but we're done with it. That means the rest of the day we can be working on other things, uh, thankfully. Okay, guys, just about dinner. Figure I'd give you a little bit of an update. We actually ended up getting a lot more done today than I thought we would. I figured that water wall was going to eat up most of the day. But since we got home from walking Kaylee, I've been busy. Uh, see over here in the pirate, right there behind the barrel. Right there. That's a speaker. We got one speaker there and another speaker back there in the corner. And then it's wired up to its stereo, which is out on the front porch. And I got the Q-Line speakers clear out by the entrance gate. They're wired up to their stereo. They both work. We've tested them. We've got the volume level set. So that's done. And I'm over here in Pirate. Found the air leak on the captain from the uh, solenoid switches or the switches that trigger the air I have a brown hose that goes up to the pneumatic cylinder and I had one look like the uh, brown hose was uh, kinked a little bit right where it went into the fitting I clipped the kink out put the thing uh, put the hose back in onto the solenoid took care of the problem uh, so we got the captain fixed and we also got our swords out in the box so they're good to go. <laughs> so we got that done today too, along with the stuff I got done earlier today. Uh, I just finished. This is over here. I might as well show you. I don't know if it'll show up because it's getting dark in here. But uh, over in the photo hallway, I installed a fogger a while back. I just didn't have it plugged in or any fluid in it. Well, it is now plugged in, set and ready to go. Has its fluid, so it's good to go. I'm gonna give it a brief test tonight. And we also went over to the graveyard and got the fogger in there as well. That leaves one fogger, one bubbler, the donation can and the curtains. What well, I mean by curtains are the ones that uh, go in in between the displays. So I've got four things to do. The uh, donation can will probably do a little closer to opening. Uh, the bubbler and the fogger that I have both go out in the photo op. I'll do those first thing in the morning. I'll take a couple of minutes. It won't take long at all. And then the rest of the day, it's going to be doing curtains. And then we're finished, folks. Now, last night, I tried to give you a nighttime view of some of the projections. I did film this one. And I must have hit the button when I, on the cell phone or something because I didn't have the footage. I also tried showing you the graveyard. And I don't remember if that one came across or not. But uh, we had two projectors, this one and the one in the pumping station I needed to work on. Uh, I will give you a look at the courtyard projections tonight and the graveyard and uh, the water room. I'm not going to bother showing you the spider or the photo op. Those I know did come through. So you'll get a look at the projections tonight. 
and after dinner. And it looks like it's dinner now, so Ann's in there waving at me. Yes, you are. Not quite done yet, but almost done, she says. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go on and grab dinner. Uh, next segment will be your nighttime look at the projector. Okay. Let's see. We'll do, yeah, we'll do it like this. Uh, okay. We've got a couple of bugs to fix again. Now, last night, the speakers were working for this projector. Tonight, they're not. So I don't know what's going on with them. I'm going to have to check that tomorrow. And this screen here, I just tried... Bart back here is triggering because I'm moving around. Uh, but this screen here, I had an error with the uh, footage yesterday. It play, I'm using Atmosphere FX. And I've got all the tracks saved as a movie. Same thing as with this. And with all my other files. Everything's working just fine, but on this projector, it's playing three scenes and then crashing back to the select screen. Uh, this time, though, it's getting a message saying uh, all files unsupported, and then it crashes. And it wasn't doing that last night. It was just, it was just crashing to the uh, select screen. So I'm going to have to. So I'm probably going to have to go down and work on that file again tomorrow. See if I can get it working. I might end up breaking it up into two or three parts and doing that or uh, getting the raw footage and redoing it. But uh, anyway, let's head over to the graveyard and I'll show you that. All right, there you go. There's your graveyard. And people will be able to see it both from uh, where, when they enter and when they exit. So I don't know how much they're going to see when they exit because of the air blaster. And I do have the fogger. Yeah, here it goes. Fogger is working in here too. And I probably need to set the duration a little bit longer so it uh, shoots out more. No, because then it, well, it'll go right up, so. Yeah. But we got that going. It looks like it's going for the tube, so. Okay, guys, we're in the water room. I just tried doing the pumping station and there's a problem with the memory stick. It's coming up with a black screen and I'm getting the sound effects for the first clip and that's it. The rest of it is non-existent. <laughs> I don't know if it's the projector or the memory stick. But anyway, I'm going to have to look at that tomorrow too. So that's going to end your nighttime view. Oh, we got to get you the prettiest thing in here of course all right there and her hair tie is glowing stay tuned for your end of the day wrap up okay guys oh, i guess i could take the headlamp off end of the day wrap up and i have a couple of announcements uh here in just a bit so hold tight uh let's see here got started with doing the uh projector sticks this morning which didn't do any good I'm going to have to relook at them again. Uh, we got in, got the water wall fixed. That went a lot quicker and a lot easier than I thought it was going to, because it's usually a bear to do that one. And that's the pond I normally end up having problems with, anyway, in the past. And then we were just kind of all over the place. We got some foggers in, we got the captain fixed, we got the speakers in, we got the stereos out here. One for Q-Line, one for the Pirate. You know, so we made it somewhere today. Now, uh, that leaves, I have one fogger to put in, a bubbler, and the curtains. And I gotta get this projector problem taken care of. And that, this leads to the first announcement. Today's vlog is officially the last setup vlog for the 2022 season. I will be posting no more setup vlogs this season. We are done for the season. It's been a nice ride, and I appreciate everyone that's come 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 along. Uh, we will have uh, a walkthrough video uh, and scare cam footage. It should be up sometime in November. A uh, walkthrough video will probably be up a lot sooner than that, but the scare cam footage will be November. So uh, hold tight for that one. 
Uh, now on to the second announcement. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow, uh, Wednesday the 19th, I do believe it is. We are officially supposed to open to the public October 24th, which is next Monday. Uh, with being so close to being done, Suanne and I were talking. For those that are, are watching the setup vlogs that live here in the Yakima Valley, uh, we're going to do something special. Friday the 21st, Saturday the 22nd, and Sunday the 23rd. We are going to be open in the evenings only and for limited hours, 6.30 to 9 each night. And then Monday the 24th, which is our official grand opening, uh, will be open 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. and 6.30 to 11, weather permitting. But if you want to come out, see the display ahead of the rush and ahead of the crowd, because I'm not advertising this anywhere except for in this vlog, which is up on YouTube and on the Facebook. None of my flyers have said anything about us opening early. So if you're watching the vlog and stuff, you've uh, just been notified. We're going to be open this weekend. Now I will also be posting each day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday about noon, saying, hey, we will be open tonight, limited hours. That will go up on the uh, Facebook's on the Tents page each day, just so people know. Uh, but anyway... We're going to let you guys go. Thank you for coming along with the ride. Kaylee has enjoyed. Huh? You've enjoyed it. Huh? Entertaining everybody. I know you did give everyone a nice wet uh, licking style kiss, wouldn't you? You like to give kisses. Anyway, guys. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Stay spooky. Stay toxic.